you're looking to produce a professional logo for your business website or YouTube channel in five minutes or less at no cost to you, then you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Yoda and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make your own professional logo at no cost to you. This professional logo tutorial has no system requirements, no software to download and install because everything we're going to do is going to be done online. If all goes well, you should have your own professional logo completed and downloaded in less than five minutes time. Now, if I'm able to accomplish all this to your satisfaction, please consider a like and a subscribe. That's really a great reward for me doing all this. So are you ready to make your free professional logo? Well, let's make it happen. Now this logo is the logo that my wife Bethany designed for her website yourultimatevacation.com and it's also the logo we're going to learn how to create from scratch for free today. To do that we first need to go to our browser. In my case I use Google Chrome. Now, clearly there are lots of options for creating free logos out on the internet but we found that designevo.com by far was one of the best choices out there to give you a high quality professional product as well at the same time being free. They also reached out to us originally because they were interested in a partnership with Web Yoda Foundation to provide some of the proceeds to create more free training for those who couldn't afford it. So to get to their website, we're going to do designevo.com, and then you can do front slash Web Yoda, and that takes you into the partnership link directly to the free logo section. And so you can see here, we are ready to go. We can start our new logo, and the logo is 100% free, no cost to us at all. Now, if it turns out you need a high-res version of your logo, uh, the link that you just went through is going to get you discounted rates. And on top of that, if you use the promotional code WebYoda30OFF, it'll get you an additional 30% off if you decide to do that. But you're not um, required to purchase anything, and I'll show you how you can download and use this particular logo for free. Let's go ahead and click on Make a Logo to start our free logo. And on the left, you'll see a bunch of different categories. If you want a particular interest, for example, business and finance, it'll bring up examples that may work for your business. If you're in the food and drink industry, it'll have ones that are relative to that. Basically, any industry you can think of. Now, in Bethany's case, she was interested in travel. So we can click on travel, and then let's scroll down and see if we can find the logo that she settled on. Um, nice thing is, is these logos, you can change the colors out as well. You're not um, restricted to that. Let's see, where is she at? There it is. So there's the one she used. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And they're going to ask you, hey, you know, this, that, and the other, you want a name of it and the slogan. We're just going to skip that and go straight to making our logo however we want to make it. And now the logo has been added to our environment and it's ready to be edited. Now for Bethany's website, there were more than one type of logo she needed. She's going to need this logo that has your ultimatevacation.com built into it. She's going to need this logo, which ends up being your Favico logo that shows up in the tab for your browser. And then on the interior pages, if you go to About Us, she needed a third logo, which is this one right here. What well, turns out this logo and this logo are the same thing. So basically we're going to have the logo by itself, and then we're going to have one with this text next to it. So let's go back to the editor and get started on that. So first we'll build a logo that won't have any text, the one that's on the About Us page and would also be the Favico or Favico icon. And to do that, we're going to highlight the text that they gave us by default, hit delete, highlight the text, and hit delete. Now the free logo can only be 500 by 500 max. So we're going to use that size, and we'll take this to the edge, and then we'll stretch this out. And since I need this to have a transparent background on the About Us page, what I want to do is come over here to background and I'm going to change the background to a color that is um, the light white color that Bethany has in her website. And that way it's going to be easier to replace that as a transparent color. Now we're going to change the colors in this logo to match the ones that Bethany used in her website. So we'll click on the logo and it shows the colors that are in the logo. In this case the yellow ones here, we'll change that first. So we're going to click on that and then click add and then we're going to change this to be the color that, of yellow she used which won't be too much different but a little bit. And then this blue was a green in her logo so we're going to click that and add our green. 
And finally, this teal color is a little bit different as well, so we'll go ahead and add her color in there. And now we have all the colors of her logo in there. Bethany's logo is ready to download, and so we'll go up here and click the download. And notice there are two fancy purchase methods, and then right here is the link to get the free version. They want you to share on social media if you don't mind to have the opportunity to use the free version. And we're going to click download and agree. Now this comes up in my download folder and it's inside of a zip file. And then I can click inside that folder and what I'm going to do is just take one of these. I'll right click on the ping file, the PNG. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my download folder. And then I'm going to paste it. Now I can delete the one that I downloaded, that folder, and I'm going to rename this one to be logo.free. Free version doesn't come as a transparent version, and we need it to be a transparent version. So we need to go back to our browser, and we're going to open a new tab, and we're going to do a search for Lunapic. And then under Lunapic, one of the choices is transparent. We're going to choose a file from our computer in our download folder and we'll do logo free. Click on open. And there's our logo. And now if we click on the color we want to be transparent, it will choose that. And then we click on apply. And it's applied. Now on the left we can click on save. And then it has a choice. The default is to save as ping. And that is being downloaded right there. And if we go back to our download folder, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this file. And I'm going to rename it logo-trans. So I know that that's the transparent version of our file. So now we have our logo. It's transparent and it's free. Now since this logo is going to be used to sit on top of a video, I have a little bit of a concern of whether or not the resolution is going to be good enough to look correct with the motion behind it. So if I take this logo and I drag it to my browser in a new tab like this, you can see that it's a little grainy on the edges, and that's the best it's going to get when we've got a size that's so small. Now if we look at Bethany's website, you'll see that it's super smooth around these edges. And the reason hers is super smooth is because we made the commitment and went ahead and bought it. doesn't mean you have to buy anything, but for our particular needs, it just made sense to go ahead and buy this. It wasn't really that expensive. I'll show you how we did that, um, but the free version certainly works as well. To purchase the high-res version, we go back to our logo maker, and then we click on the download and just look at the options. And let's just choose it. I'm not saying you have to do this, but we choose it. You come down to the box, have a coupon, Web Yoda, 30 off, redeem, and now you're at less than $20 to get a high-res version of your logo. So it's your choice, um, but now I'm going to show you what the difference looks like. Um, so let's say the purchase goes through, and then now it's going to take you back to your screen where your logo was at. And now because we're going to have a purchase version, it can be larger than that. And we're going to make it larger, and the high res it's going to give us can be bigger than that. So let's put 1,000 and 1,000 and apply. Now we can take our logo and stretch it out really nice and big. Now we're ready to download the high res version. So we just click on download and it automatically starts downloading the high-res version of that. Now it's successful and it shows it in our downloads folder. We'll go into the folder, choose high-res, and then I'm going to right-click on logo transparency. I'm going to copy that, go back to my downloads, and then I'll paste it in here. And so now I have the transparent version. And I'm going to drag that to my browser over here just so we can compare the difference. Now we're ready to compare our two versions. So if we come up to our browser and click on the logo, you'll notice it's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit smoother. So you say, well, that's really not that much of a difference. I'm not sure what I paid for. Now over here, this is as large as it gets. Over here, if I click on it, it'll show us how big it really is. And I'm telling you, I was shocked to see the resolution. When I look at this, I'm like, I cannot believe how nice a quality this is. And it was for less than $20. So 
for me, we got our money's worth, and we inserted it in her site, and it looked just absolutely wonderful on there, so I don't think we made a mistake. But once again, it is possible to use the free version, and in most situations, maybe it'll be just fine for you as well. Go ahead and clean some of these tabs up so we can make the second logo that we need. I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. And so now we're back to where we're at. Now, at this point, if we click Save, it'll make a copy of that in our folder so that we have it permanently. So if you come over here, you can go into My Logos. And you'll see it shows up in there. And there's a free one that I had looked at earlier, and then I just saved it just because. And here's the one that we have the basic agreement on. Now, one of the wonderful things that I found out is that if you edit the one that's here, you can download the new version. So basically, you can put whatever you want in here. You can make unlimited logos inside of here as long as you didn't mind replacing the old one with the new one. So we're going to click on edit so we can go ahead and make the secondary version of this. Now let's go ahead and review the second logo to remind us of what we're doing. So basically we're going to be building this logo now. So we're going to have the same logo here, but this is going to be going across this way. So go back into our logo maker. So the second logo is going to be a thousand across, but it doesn't need to be nearly as tall. So the first thing I'm going to do is shrink my logo down to say this big. Put it in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to change the dimensions to 1000 by, say, 200. And then I can bring our logo over here to the left and to the top. And then I'll stretch it out to fit perfectly just like that. Now the second logo is going to have the same background color as the menu bar. So we're going to come over here to background and then we're going to go in and add a color and then we're going to add the color which is the background that we used in the menu bar for the website. Now we're ready to add the text to our new logo. I'm going to click on text and the first text she used has a type that's modern sans and inside of that it's going to be this um, Julia Sands 1. So we'll go ahead and click on that and then it's going to be the word your can't see anything yet so let's change the color the color is going to be the yellow that we use in the website so now we can see it let's make it bigger and now let's kind of drag it over here somewhere and it might necessarily be the perfect spot yet but we're going to go ahead and keep working with it now since I know the dot com in the corner is going to be very similar to this same font and everything I can select the your and come over here and choose this icon and make a duplicate of it. And then I can just drag that over here. And I can click on the text, change the text to be .com. Again, we will adjust sizes and things like that later. Now we're ready to do the word ultimate here. Now if we accidentally leave something highlighted and then we picked a new font, say this, it actually changes the font of the one that's selected, and we didn't want to do that. They have these undo and redo buttons that are really helpful, so that undoes it, and that redoes it, and that undoes it again. So now we want to put new text here, and to do that, the next font that she wanted to use is also a modern font, and it's called Quicksand. So we'll click on that. makes a box here. This particular one is going to be green, and then inside the box... We can type our new text, ultimate, and now let's give this a bigger size, let's say 93, and now we'll move this somewhere up here, let's say like that, and now we're ready to do our next word. Now the last word we're going to put in is vacation, and that's going to be this Roboto Condensed. And it's going to be, let's say, size 100. And we'll change the color to the blue that's in the website. And now we'll click on this text to go ahead and change it. Say vacation. And now let's kind of drag it up into place. So now we got all the content. We just need to adjust everything to get it to fit just right. Now let's make some final adjustments to the positioning of the text. Let's move that basically there. Let's make this guy a little bit smaller. We'll move over here to the corner a little bit. 
bring this guy down here just next to that, like so. Bring ultimate down here so it lines up, let's say, like so. And then for this text, Bethany used this little magic wand thing and she turned on this glow. And you can barely see it, but it just add a little bit of effect. It makes the letters pop out a little bit. And then she clicked on vacation and she also added glow. And basically, we're done with the new logo. The second one is complete. Now we're ready to download the second logo. And remember, since I purchased the slot that the logo lives in, and I've updated the logo that's in that slot, when I go to download, I'm going to be downloading the new logo as a high resolution as well. So it's basically two for the price of one at this point. So now I can click on download. And just as before, it'll bring it up in a download folder for me. Now I'm going to click on the logo folder. Click on the high res folder. Now I don't need it to be transparent because in this particular situation it's going to be in the menu. So I'm going to right click on the ping version. Copy that to the clipboard. Go back to downloads. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to rename this one Logo Menu and hit Enter. Now I'm going to drag that one over to my browser and I'll look at it in the browser and look how great it looks and then I'm going to click on it and see it is really really nice. So again now that I got two logos for the price of one I'm pretty happy with myself at this point. Once you've completed and downloaded your own logo, you may also want to consider making a video intro logo. For example, this is the logo we just made for Bethany. And now let's look at a video intro using the same logo. In much the same way we made a logo online for free, you can also make your video intros online for free. So if you're interested in having your own video intro, I went ahead and made a tutorial for doing just that. Just click on the link at the top right and you'll be ready to go. Now I truly hope I've given you all the information you need to make your own professional logo. Now if there's something that I didn't mention or you have questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll say, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer or I can find the answer, I'll give it to you and maybe we can work on it together. Now I really enjoy doing this and really the only payment I'm looking for, if I could get a subscribe and possibly a like out of this, it'd be super helpful. Outside of that, I um, hope you have a great day. Peace out.